<laughs> I'm in love with GPT-4, man. Because of its greatest ability, right? Not really. Because of its cost and larger token limit, it's really abusing your credit card. It's always nice to see those jumps in your billing period. <laughs> well, I found a technique that I could compress my prompts up to even 20 times, which significantly reduced my cost, and now I'm getting very similar results still using GPT-4. LLM Lingua, you used that, right? Yes. Can you show me how? I can show you. Then, let's go! Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, welcome everyone to LLM Lingua which is a new open source achievement by Microsoft Corporation and we will see how we can leverage this technique to compress our prompts and, and gain so many benefits. Let's start with the challenges that LLM Lingua is addressing them and what going to be the exact benefits we will achieve by using this and we will see how we can use that. So technically right now when you have lengthy prompts, especially with GPT-4 recent version, they have increase the length of token limit so there's a chance that you will send more longer sort of prompts to this model and when you do rack retrieval augmented generation you have to also provide your documents and context of your data to the prompt to answer your user question when you want to create a chatbot that is connected with your data that means you're sending more tokens so what's going to happen when you have those tokens and lengthy prompts first of all you will see latency in, in API response. When you call LLM GPT-4 because your prompt is huge, you're gonna wait a little bit more. Not only that, you're, there is a chance that you will exceed that token limit. But also, you might have seen when you chat in chat GPT and when you have a larger chat, you feel like the model is forgetting what you mentioned, the instruction you mentioned at the beginning. And that's actually the nature of this behavior that we have seen with LLMs. So, lastly, of it, of course, very important as well, last but not least, you're gonna pay. And you know that these models, they charge you per token. So when you have larger prompts, you're gonna pay more. So with LLM Lingua, what we're gonna do, as you can see on the downside of this chart, we are going to compress our prompts with using some small language models, for example, GPT-2 or Llama. Some of these are small models, I can actually download them locally on my machine and use them to compress the prompt and then send it to, let's say, GPT-4 for getting the response. So what are the benefits we are gaining? First of all, we are saying, uh, saving more because we're going to pay less. The prompts are smaller. Now the latency has been improved. There is a lower chance that we might exceed the token limit. And of course, because the prompts are shrinked and smaller, there's less risk of forgetting my instructions in the prompt when I ask the model. So there are two types of scenarios, LLM Lingua, which uses another smaller large language model technique to compress my prompts and then send it to the GPT-4, or long LLM Lingua, that it also not only understand the context of your prompts and shrink it, but also it plays around with the position of the documents and information. So because it has been noted, especially in Rack Retrieval Augmented Generation, the position of the document you're providing, is it at the beginning of the prompt, middle of the prompt, end of the prompt, that also affect or affect the performance of the model. So it's sort of reorder, of course, with knowing the question you're asking. So it's a question aware, uh, density changes of your prompt, and then you might read that compressed prompt and you might like, oh, it doesn't make sense for me. But you will see that how much of redundant tokens we have in natural language and when we shrink that maybe it's hard for us to understand but for, it's pretty easy for large language model to understand that so for me it's like how human brain scams something quickly if i gonna quickly scam this paragraph i will my brain automatically skip the words like the have to in these are really not keywords so the same idea we're gonna do with our prompts 
which we don't lose the context but we significantly diminish the the volume of the prompts and the number of tokens we have so they have shown that with this la lingua you can have 20 20 times compressed prompt and with minimal performance loss because we are still gaining the context of the prompt but sometimes even increasing the performance by this compression why because with long LLM lingua we are also doing some course to find compression and we even change the density of the information and location we talked about so we make a more clean and up to point context for the prompt to answer question that means yeah we might also increase the performance so uh, they have actually the research paper you can read about more details at how they're achieving this and this is the actual the summary of the insights they found. And yes, in natural language, we have a lot of redundancy. So this uh, lingua is, is addressing that with making our prompt shrink. And there are some couple of examples in their uh, page mentioning that with increasing, let's say, a prompt from two to almost 3,000 tokens, which is a prompt, some context, and a question, they increase, they uh, decrease the prompt with nine times more but they also improve the accuracy from 55 to almost 75. So 21% more accuracy. You can see if I say this compressed problem, it's very hard for human to understand or read it, but it is working and giving me better results too. Not only that, in Hugging Face, they have actually a live demo. Here is my prompt and here's instruction and I'm asking a question to answer, right? So I'm telling that my target token is gonna be 200. So I don't know what is the original one, but this is my target I want to compress. So I pressed on compress and look at that. Now my token number is almost close to my target 300. So I reduced seven times more the, the volume of the prompt. From 2000, now I have just 300. And I got the same answer. So I didn't lose anything. And look at that. I saved almost 0 0.1 or 10 cents in GPT-4. Now you might say, oh, saving $0.1 is nothing. But think about it. If you have an LLM application and you're going to call GPT-4 hundred times, thousand times, or you have an LLM chatbot, you want to give it to thousands or hundreds of users, that's actually going to be a lot. Don't forget compound effect. That will significantly grow and significantly reduce with this technique. So, okay, enough. Let's see how we can leverage this technique in action. I'm going to actually run and show you one of the examples they provided in their GitHub repository, and I will add the GitHub repo in the Discord channel on the reference section. So click on the Discord channel link in the video description below, and you will gain access to all this information. All right, here's an example. What we're going to do, let's say we have the transcript of meetings. You have a call with someone, you have a meeting with the team, and you have been talking with each other. So this is the transcript of your call. And we're going to ask about questions like what, for example, MG said about this topic at the meeting. I'm not going to watch the recording. I can just have RAG here as an example and have a chatbot use GPT-4 to connect the meeting transcripts to my OpenAI GPT-4 and then ask questions, right? But of course, that can be a lengthy prompt. So here in this example they provided, first of all, you need to install LLM Lingua and data sets, this is for Hugging Face because the sample data, it's meeting bank data they use, it's coming from data set of Hugging Face. And I use GitHub, uh, sorry, I use Google Colab for running this, but you just need a Python environment, not necessarily coming to GitHub, um, Google Colab. Okay, going all the way down, and then I grabbed the data, I just wanted to see how data look like, and there you go, this is how the data look like, we have the meeting ID, speaker number one, two, three, four, I think that's a fake one, data set, um, that's why they have rename, maybe the names to a speaker one, two, three, four, five, so multiple people in the call talking to each other, I'm not going through the transcript here, but just give you an idea what it is. And then, of course, you need to have your OpenAI key to use GPT-4 for asking questions, right? So I added mine, I executed the cell and it's removed that, this is credential, but if you wanna use also Azure OpenAI, this is how we can do it. So let's say we're gonna bring a portion of this meeting to chat GPT and then ask a question, how much did the crime rate increase last year? I know in that what portion of the meeting they talked about that, so I'm bringing this context as well to my prompt and then this question to get the answer and this should be potentially the answer so let's see so here i'm not compressing anything just regular gpt for 32k call after calling that you can see that i got the answer but 
uh, let's see if it tells me how many tokens I use. Yes, the prompt tokens that I used was 30,000. Okay, it was the input and the answer used, so the answer from OpenAI used 64. So total token, this is the total one. But now that's the time to do the magic with LLM Lingua. So this is how you import the prompt compressor. And then that's how I, I actually embed that with my prompt and instructions. For example, I say, hey, use this compressor. Okay, this is my instruction. This here, I added nothing, but you can add yours. And this is the question I specified on the top. You remember the target tokens I showed you in the live demo? This is the approximate number that you want to diminish your prompt from this amount to this amount. <laughs> This is a lot difference. So this one is using a, a longer learning as we discussed about, and you can have also compressed ratio for dynamic context. And then here, I'm sending my prompt as a compressed one in the message, and then again calling now my GPT 432K. That's the version of the model being used here to get the response. And look at that. With just one question. I'm saving $1.8 with this amount of compress ratio and that was the original sort of number of tokens that I got let's see what gonna be the final one like from this number I got this number and I'm still getting the right answer that was the question I asked what was the crime rate and the crime rate was 0.5.4 so this is huge think about it so in this notebook they have a couple of more examples another question for example let's go all the way here from 30,000 tokens they reach to 200 tokens with getting the correct answer and saving again another 1.8 dollar in, in GPT-4 and the rest of the notebook is just the same asking questions and see how much we saved with cost and how much we compressed so that was just one example they have multiple examples in the repo and my purpose for this video was telling you what it is what is out of possibilities with these costs with lengthy prompts and what techniques are available there and guide you towards seeing these out of possibilities and how you can leverage it get it more creative with your own projects and write down in the comments how you're going to leverage that you the pros and cons of this technology what do you think about and share with our brother people in community that what do you think about it this is actually how we grow when we share when we comment when we openly talk with each other so i appreciate your comments you can enjoy the discord channel talk in the community there and if you like the video there's an icon for that i would appreciate it if you do so thank you so much and we'll see you next in the next video do you know what are the heaviest things in the world? Unmade decisions. The main reason that you're stressed is because you have decisions to make, but you're not making them. Dream big, my friends. Believe in yourself and take action. Till the next video, see you soon.